Now the main thing here... It got personal. At, at that point, when they did that, it got personal on both sides, you know. What Now something else to, crazy to mention here is that the SNES CD platform didn't just create the PlayStation. It also gave birth to the CDI, which we will cover in the CDI section of this. One of the worst moves Nintendo ever made. Yeah, unfortunately, but we won't give much more. It, it was a, to it that. was a, it was a move of aggression and uh, retaliation and hostility, and I don't think they thought it through. I think they just wanted to dick over Sony. I think that's all it was. I think that was it, and what what came of it is Sony decided after the whole um, screwing over fiasco with Philips, they were going to just continue working R and Ding the PlayStation. Start doing it on their own. Okay, so now we're in the game. What do we got going on here, Luke? Uh, this is fairly far into the storyline because you have to make it, I think, five missions before they start letting you create your own traps. Now, give us a little run-through on how you set the traps. Well, I'm going to run away first, because if I don't run to a different room, chances are they're just going to up and kill me. So, once we get to the other room here... Now, who are the protagonists? I'm just curious. What are you fighting here? Um, they're basically after me because I'm a witch, because I'm able to control, uh, traps. It's like some rumored ability that's ridiculous. And you have a intruder set up here. You can check them out, see what they're able to do. Now, as far as the traps... Well, you go in here, and you see the, uh, the triangle area is your ceiling traps. Your square is your wall traps, and the X button controls your floor trap. Now, when you, you press each button in conjunction to um, spring the trap? Correct. Okay. Give us a little demonstration here of setting a trap. I'm going to go ahead and set this guy here. All right. And we're going to set up the volt rock. Now, this was one. <laughs> these are ones that you created. Am I these correct? are ones that I created, both of them. And because they are both of electricity, whenever I activate them, if I activate them simultaneously, they will have a link of electricity. Oh, wow. They'll work in conjunction with each other? Oh, yes. That's really cool. <laughs> I like that. And that is... The basics of setting up the trap, right? That is. Now this is uh, just a very different uh, kind of game than we're used to seeing. I don't know what you would actually define this as. I don't really know that you can. Uh, I missed them. I don't. I can't think of any other games where the uh, main game aesthetic is to to set traps. Set traps and get your opponent in them. Not only that, the ability to create your own <coughs> traps and uh, use them in conjunction and use the strategy on that level. This is uh, It's a very pretty, strategic game. Yeah, it's really interesting uh, design. Now, do, uh, this is, what, the third one in the series? Yeah. Tecmo's <laughs> Deception. Have they made more since then? I believe this was the last one, wasn't it? I believe it was. <coughs> this would be a series that would need that would we'd like to see a remake of or um, a new iteration. It's a niche thing, so you know a lot of people probably missed it. So now you're trying to lure her into the traps. Is that what you're doing? You were like a half second off there. Now. 
Yes, indeed, I am trying to lure her into the traps. And most of it is turning out extremely unsuccessful. But you are, um... This is a later part of the game, so it does get a bit difficult as you go. And um, Tecmo is pretty notorious for their difficulty. They uh, rank as one of the um, most difficult... Um, uh, by, by far, all their games are usually rather difficult. Like Capcom and Konami, also. A lot of... <coughs> the Japanese developers really um, kicked up the the nope. settings for the challenge. Would you say so? I would. I would. Nice shot. It's the only thing I've got to hit so far. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Yeah, I like how it works. Better than just another platform game or another RPG. This is something, you know, You have at no least out of the normal realm of, uh, of what you can do with a game. You have no physical defense. No, you don't. It's all in the traps. I'd fire that sucker. As you can see, she hit her with the damage. Let's see, fire that sucker off now. Almost. All right. There's definitely a lot of strategy to this. Oh, yeah. I'd say go ahead and try and get her dead there. At least one of them. I could see where you were going with the, uh, wanting to get the conjunction with the electricity, but sometimes they just don't walk into it, so you have to really be careful with your luring. Fire it again. Ha! There is a look at enemy button too, which is handy. She knows where to walk to <laughs> avoid that, apparently. As you can see, the uh, different traps are rebuilding a power. So, and uh, you can set traps in any room, uh, right? Any room, anytime you want. That's part of the beauty of the game. As you can see, I'm resetting some traps. Changing your strategy mid-game, that's, that's a good idea. And we see that this is a little bit more successful. Now, can you take damage from your own traps? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire that arrow. So you have to be aware of what traps you have set. More than they're set. Now, how are they getting life back there? I see that uh, Sylvia's gotten some health back. Well, I would guess because... Uh... She's the white mage, I believe. She's a witch! She's the witch! What are they chasing you down for? Yeah. Your son? I want a bicycle. A bicycle? A bike? Well, would you prefer something <laughs> like uh, cool borders? I want a bicycle. No, you want jet moto. That's what you want. I want a bicycle. Uh, siphon filter? What about twisted metal? You'd like that, I wouldn't you? Bicycle. Look, kid, do it for Santa. Take, take it, take it. I hate mall Santas. I hate nasty. New Gen Gamers.